this video, we will look at scales, specifically how to determine the scale when you are given a floor plan. Let's look at an example. You'll see the question says determine the scale of a floor plan. And you'll see that this is a bedroom. It's got the walls, window, bed and desk, and there's a door. Now, normally you'd see um, there would be a scale, a number scale, like one, two, for example, 30,000 or something like that. But in our case, we don't have a scale. We need to find that 30,000 to something and we need to find an accurate scale as well. Luckily, there are steps that you can follow so you don't need to stress. The first thing we're going to do is measure one length. Now this one length can also be one side, one wall, it's just one side. Second thing we're going to do is write down a ratio. Third thing is get those ratios in the same units. And lastly, we will divide. And once you divide, you'll be able to get that one to something scale. All right, let's do, um, let's measure one length. Let's go and measure this 5.5 meter long wall and see how long that is on paper. Okay, this is exactly 11 centimeters. So, wait, let me move it a little. Whenever you're measuring, you have to be very exact and precise. And if it's 10.9, then it's 10.9. Don't play games with that. So, our first step we write down. Um, it was 11 centimeters. Secondly, what was the ratio? We had 11 centimeters to something, and it was that 5.5 meters. Okay, so we're going to say 5.5 meters. So that's our second step. Now it says we need to get all of these in the same unit, step three. So both of them need to go to centimeter. Now the 11 is already in centimeters, so that will just carry over. But the 5.5, we have to take meters to centimeters. And how we do that, if you remember your conversions, is we times by 100. So you'll get 5.5 times 100 is 550, 550. And then in our last step, we need to divide. So basically, once you have these numbers in the same units, you can leave out the units. You don't have to write that down again. Okay. So we can drop the units and now we need to get this to one to something, right? Now, how did I get that 11 to one? We divided the number by itself. So it was 11 divided by 11 gives you one. And then since it's a ratio, which you do on the one side, you need to do on the other side as well. And I need to say 550 divide by 11. And then let's write that down like this for now, 550 divided by 11. Once you do that, you'll get a number of 50. And then it's so easy, that's your scale. And this means one centimeter on paper is actually 50 centimeters in real life. Right, remember to share, like, subscribe, become part of the Whiteboard SA team, and then you can get notifications for more math literacy videos.